Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex, or William, sorry. I'm thinking my channel, I don't know why. But my name is William. Uh, <clears throat> uh, today, uh, I've, I've been looking through my video selections and I never really did a video about my story. Now, I did say a little bit about it and one of, on one of my encouragement videos way back when I was Faith Ministries and and just let me know down in the comments if you want me to bring them encouragement videos back because I love doing them. I mean, I, I love doing them, but just let me know down in the comments. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to talk to you about my, my story about, um, about how depression came, not depression, anxiety came into my life. Uh, yeah, this story, this story is... It's going to be a good story, I believe. <clears throat> I don't really tell my story a lot to people um, because I'm embarrassed by it. I mean, if I'm out in public, I really don't like talking about my story about anxiety because it's something that uh, I live with daily and, you know, and I'm working on getting better at it because uh, a very inspiring person was in my shoes at one point and now she's all over the place preaching her little heart out. And, you know, doing what God's told, told her to do. And, you know, one of these days is I really want to be, and I'm praying this, I really want to be the one of, like, one of those people because you know, I'm not trying to be like the person I'm trying to be like. I just want to try, I want to try to do my calling because that's what God would want me to do. But, yeah, I want to talk to you about my uh, story and then... I mean, and, and then, you know, it's just going to be a, just a normal, you know, story time, I guess you can call it. Um, but, yeah, today I was going to do a sermon, but, you know, I looked through my videos, and, you know, maybe they would want to hear, and I was praying this in my mind this morning, and I was like, God, should I tell them about my story, about why... Uh, the way I am and stuff like that, and so uh, I'm. I believe this is what God's want me to talk to y'all about. And so, if you don't know me, I kind of want to do what God tells me to do. So I'm gonna get right into it. Um, so I am 19. I'm going on 20 years old now, and my life for me, I mean. I'm just going to go way back, probably to when, I, a lot of people might say, you don't remember when you was born, but I can tell you where I was born and that stuff. So, I was born in a town called Muskogee, Oklahoma. Um, I am from Oklahoma, that's where I grew up, this is where I grew up at, and this is probably where I'm going to stay for a little bit longer. But, uh, yeah, I was born in, in Muskogee, Oklahoma, and I was raised in a town called Porn for about, probably up to about 18 years, I would say. I think we moved at eight, when I was 18, something like that. But, <clears throat> anxiety is something, I mean, well, what most people call it is fear, and that's what it is. Take away anxiety is a is a is a fear. It's something that you are afraid that something might potentially hurt you, and that was me. Uh, I know a lot of people that um, I've known a lot of people that had a little bitty fears and stuff like that. But me, however, if you if back when I was younger and you see me around, I would be afraid to walk into a store into the mall. I would be afraid of ride coasters. Me, I was not a person that would like anything. And and it's because I was afraid that the building would collapse on me or I would fall off the ride or, you know, stuff like that. And uh, now as you think about it, uh, I still battle a lot with anxiety and, you know, um, but I have a supporting family, uh, that 
really gives me support and stuff like that. Um, and uh, so, uh, I was about two years old, and uh, I started my ministry. I mean, I guess you could say I started. It was just a little sermon. Uh, I we had a church about. I would say about five, ten miles down the road from where I lived at the time. Um, we had a church about, and we were, and I, if you don't know me, I'm not like other denominations. Um, the way we believe is we believe in the non-denominational belief. We believe that we don't care what name is over your door because that is not what's going to get you into heaven but I preached my very first message down at the church we had and uh, it was not very long it was like very short and to the point I believe now I believe it's short to the point back then I was just like hey everybody else is getting up behind the pulpit so I said you know maybe I just do it and see what happened I didn't know I was going to get behind the pulpit but when I did that first time message at the age of two, and you probably say, that's pretty young. And it is, it is. But um, uh, after I got done, my grandma knew I was going to be a minister, knew that I was going to do what God told me to do. And, you know, my grandma, she was a very wise uh, person. She she very knew about the Lord. She knew that uh, she knew how to raise us up as a family. Uh, I am I'm one of the middle childs uh, of four siblings. Uh, um, yeah, I had I have four grand I had four grandparents and uh, two parents. Um, so. About four or five-ish, I think I remember correctly, was when my anxiety was starting. Uh, at this time, I didn't want to be outside. I wanted to stay indoors. I wanted to go in my bedroom and lock myself away from the world because I was worried. I was afraid that that if I walked out, I would have got shot or someone would run over me with a car and stuff like that. And you know how that works. But I was afraid and all I wanted to do was stay home. I didn't want to go to school that much. I mean, I was made, I was not made to go to school. I, I would, but uh, the only time I ever got out was to go to school. And that, that time I just wanted to go to school, get home, lock myself up in the bedroom and uh, go on. And just keep doing that over and over again until I got comfortable with getting out when getting out into the world. And you know, it if you think about it, anxiety for me was like I would say a uh, I would say anxiety has grasped my life for so long as I remember remember and. As life get got tougher for me, the more my anxiety would get to it. And every time I tried to get out into the world, you know, you hear that little voice in your head saying, "Oh, don't get out in the world. Don't do this. The world's a dangerous place. You, uh, you should stay in your room. Keep your door locked. Stuff like that." Uh, and you know, at that time, I listened to that little voice instead of listening to what God wanted. God wanted me to get out into the world. God wanted me to, wanted me to, to, uh, wanted me to, to get involved in the church, get involved in that. And, that, and that's another thing. I mean, I, I went to church. I did. I never, I never, I never stopped going to church, I believe. But every time I got home, immediately I went to my room and closed the door and locked it. Immediately. Because I didn't want to, I didn't want to, uh, be involved with the outside world. I wanted to be stuck to in the room. It's like I was stuck inside a prison. If you wanted to just talk about it like that, uh, I felt like I was in a prison uh, of despair, a prison of fear, a prison you know that wouldn't let me go. And at this time, I thought that 
God, I mean, I was at the point where I thought, why in the world would God have me to go through a time like this? And, you know, I was questioning him. And, you know, one thing you do not want to do is question God, and I was doing that. And I was asking myself, why do, why do I have to live like this? And it came to a point where it took me so bad, my anxiety took me so bad that I just wanted, I, I started to have depression. Uh, <clears throat> now, my depression ain't as bad as my anxiety. My anxiety is way much higher than my depression. Now, it's not that I don't have depression. I do. <clears throat> I do, but not as bad as my anxiety and fear. Uh, and you see, it got to a point where uh, my depression started, but my anxiety overtook my depression by surprise. But I came to a point where it's like, I didn't want to live anymore. I didn't want to live in this place of fear and suffering. Well, I wasn't suffering, but I was afraid. It's kind of like suffering in my book. And, you know, it got, it got me to thinking about uh, suicide and stuff like that. And then, and then about when I hit the teenage years, it kind of eased up a little bit. But those first years of my life was the toughest because I started to realize what was right and what was wrong, how I should be living, how the devil will come to tempt me each day and day and day and day, and how I'm supposed to stand strong and stand firm in God. And I was afraid about what my life would be like how I was supposed to live, if I was supposed to serve the Lord, or do this, this, and this, and my anxiety would come in. It's like, oh, here's a little voice, here's a little voice that's saying, oh, uh, you don't need to be doing what he tells you. You don't need to be doing this, this, and this. You ain't gonna go to heaven if you do this, this, and this, and, you know. And I was afraid. I was worried. I said, God, help me. And that's all I remember saying is, help me overcome this problem in my life because I can't serve God and be afraid of what the world may think of me and that's what I was supposed to be thinking but however I was choosing the world at this point I was choosing the world over my religion and my faith because I was worried about what people thought of me I was worried if I went out there and started preaching the word of God people would think oh you're a Jesus freak uh, uh, you uh, a Bible thumper and stuff like that, and trust me, I was called that a lot in my school. And then, uh, you know, at the point, I mean, I still went to church, don't remember, I still was taught the Word of God through and through and through, but I was still struggling with this anxiety or this fear, you might want to call it, because all anxiety is is fear, and I didn't start calling my anxiety fear until now the teenage years. I thought anxiety was gripping my life. I thought it was kind of like I was paralyzed around fear. And I, and you know, so 13 years old came around <clears throat> and I, I started my eighth grade year, I think, uh, my, no, my sixth grade year. I was graduated eighth grade around 15 years old. So it would be my sixth grade year. And uh, this is where I was wanting to pursue God more and more. I wanted to get all I could of him before my high school years were. And I want to let you know, uh, I really didn't become a child of God until I was about 16 years old. Um, however, I was baptized a lot when I was younger, but I didn't know what I was doing. So, uh, uh I was... Sixth grade year, I I went to my special ed teacher that I had. Uh, her name was Jill Wright, or I called her Miss Wright, and because that's what we were supposed to call her, being polite. And you know, I didn't want to go into the class and hey Jill, because that would probably made her mad. But uh, I was talking to her. We talked a lot about the Bible, and I was talking to her about. Uh, my anxiety and how why well, I was asking myself asking her why would God put me in a position like this I was just trying to get answers uh, 
I started running to strangers for answers instead of running to my family. And that's one thing that really hurt me because, uh, because I didn't think my family would understand me. And let me tell you something. Your family will understand you if you're running through this kind of problem because uh, they know you. They knew you before you were born. Well, not before you were born. They knew you since you was born. They know what kind of struggles you're going through. Not other people do. And, you know, and, you know, it really came to a point where I was so grasped by fear that I didn't want to leave at all. I was still stuck in my bedroom, I believe. And then when I got into high school, that's when I said, okay, I had enough of this. I got to step out. I can't let fear grasp me. And so I got to high school and, uh, you know, things got a little rough. I mean, you know how high school years go. You still get bullied. I mean, I still, I was bullied since I was middle school, but I started pursuing God. I went to a lot of church groups at my school. I had a couple of groups I went to. Uh, Team Jesus is one of them and You for Life. Uh, but, yeah, I went to a lot of them. I started going to church more. started reading my Bible. I started to do this, this, and this to get my mind off of fear and started focusing on something else. I didn't know that this was the beginning of God trying to get me to come to him. And, uh, you know, I was like this for about a couple of years. My junior year, my my, my my sophomore year, yeah. My sophomore year is probably one of the best years of my life because uh, my sophomore year was the year that I finally gave my life over to God. Uh, now, I want to let y'all know, I don't, I do not, uh, I don't walk the perfect walk with him every day because if I did, I would probably, I'm not perfect at no means, but, uh, God helped me through a lot of things in my life. Even though I wasn't a safe child of God, he stayed faithful to me. And when I gave my life over to God, it's like a big relief of what happened, uh, like, from the time I was born to the time I gave my life over to God, it felt like I got a bunch of things off my chest. And, you know, God, I was asking God, uh, can you take this um, fear away from me? Can you take this anxiety away from me? And you know what, guys? Sometimes, I didn't realize this at the point, but sometimes he works through our problems. He doesn't take, he might, you can ask him to take it away all you want to, and eventually one day he will, but until that time comes, he will help you get through what he needs done. And so, uh, so I gave my life up with a God at 16. That would be another story about how I was saved and stuff like that. But, uh, I was diagnosed with excessive anxiety disorder at the age of 13 years old. And here's why. Uh, my family had a ball game in Muskogee, where I was born from at this time. And I was complaining about my chest hurt really bad. I had a hard time breathing. Uh, I had a hard time breathing. And my mom wanted to take me to the hospital. And I said, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. And I still had problems breathing. My chest was hurting. And she's like, okay, we're taking you to the hospital. So I got in the car. My mom took me into the hospital. They did a bunch of blood work, x-rays on my chest. You know how they go. Uh, but uh, they came back and they found the answer. And he, he, she came out and he came out. He was a guy. He was a doctor. He was a guy doctor. And he came out and he said, your son, we found the reason why his chest has been hurting. Your son has excessive anxiety disorder and uh, a little bit of, uh, and so we went from there and I went to the doctor because I was having a little wheezing problem and they thought I had asthma. So I went and did a breathalyzer, you know what they did, taking uh, taking your ass, you know how they test for ass, but they make you breathe in this big old straw thing and go, and stuff like that. 
uh, they made me breathe on that, and they came out and said he has asthma, so they gave me some pro air and some thing to stop my asthma from happening and stuff like that. But one thing I didn't know is when I go into an anxiety attack, it triggers my asthma effect. And that's what I've been going through for about until I got saved. And I still struggle a little bit with fear. I don't call it anxiety anymore. I call it fear because one thing I realized that I call I, I call up on the name of the Lord. I like I call up on his name because I one thing I remember when I read my Bible was that God does not give me the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. <laughs> and then I come on over to Second Peter and it talks about how to cast all your anxieties, all your fears, all your problems upon him for he cares for you. And then I came on to a point where I said, God, I can't do this anymore. And I, I asked him to take it away from me. And I still asked him to this day to take this away from me because I wanted to do what was right in his eyes. And I said, God, if there's any way to help me out, please help me to get rid of this thing. Because I wanted to go fearless in God. And, uh, you know, that's that was a... Thing I want to do is be fearless. I don't want to live a life of fear anymore because that's not what God wants me to do. The only person I would want to fear is God. That's my only fear I wanted to fear. I don't want to fear life. I don't want to fear what happens when I die. I don't want to fear this, this, and this because I want it to be fearless. But I only want one fear, and that's the fear of the Lord because He's the only one that I should be fearing. No fear in this world does not match the fear of the Lord because the Lord uh, can take your life and your soul. And that's why I don't want any fear but that. So, that went on for about, yeah, pretty much till now. And I still struggle with fear, but God is still working with me. So, I hope you enjoyed that story. And, uh... I hope if anyone got anything out of that story, it goes through the same thing. Uh, I want to tell you what a good person told me. And it said, fear does not, fear, uh, fear does not stand in God's love. That means God is more powerful than fear. God may, you might think that God, uh, why God would, Make let you go through fear, and it, and it's not that he don't want you to. He does not. It's not that he wants you to struggle with fear. He wants to get you to a place where he can take your fears completely gone. And and uh, God, I I really would do, do anything to get fear out of my system, and I'm still working with that. I've done more things now than I could. I would never thought I would get a YouTube channel started. I would never thought I would preach in front of people. I never thought I would even sing in front of people. But God got me to that point, and I'm thankful for that. Because if it wasn't for God, I would probably be up there, <laughs> you know, panicking my heart out. And if it wasn't for God, I would probably not be here where I'm standing today. And so... I pray for y'all. I know everyone goes through struggles in life. And my struggle is fear. And I know fear can grasp your life. But trust me. Fear is only a spirit that does not come from God. Okay. I love y'all guys. I'll catch you next time. Like, subscribe, and share.